Well, thank you all for being here today and welcome to Arrowhead. Uh, we are very excited to be here today to announce the second annual Missouri Classic. Um, this is a part of why Arrowhead is here. We started in 1972 and uh, one of the dreams of Lamar Hunt was that Arrowhead would always be a place for football, a place where people would come and play at all levels and celebrate the game. And in 1972, our first year of operations, one of the very first, in fact, the very first college football game at Arrowhead was a historically black college university uh, game between Grambling and Mississippi Valley State. Um, and I'm proud to say that for 14 straight years, we have held college football games at Arrowhead. So it's the home of the Chiefs, but it's really a home of football. And we're happy to continue that legacy with the game September 6th between Langston and Lincoln. A couple of people that I'd like to thank um, internally, Bill Chapin and Gary Spaney head up the team for the Chiefs that are always working to bring college football games and events to Arrowhead, and they worked long and hard on this one. Some folks within Kansas City, Oscar McCaskey, um, Troy Schulte, Kathy Nelson, behind the scenes working to make sure we could make this game work. And then the next two gentlemen that you're going to meet that I'm going to introduce, uh, Councilman Jermaine Reed and Councilman John Sharp, who with this game in particular, every single time we hit a roadblock, every single time we said, this may not work, this may not be able to work, this may not happen, um, these two gentlemen said, nope, we're going to make this work. So personally, on behalf of the entire organization, John, Jermaine, thank you. We wouldn't be here without you today. And with that, I'd like to introduce Councilman Jermaine Reed. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark, and uh, good morning to all of you. It's uh, good to be here at the Chiefs Stadium again and kicking off this year's uh, Missouri Classic. We're certainly excited about the second annual Missouri Classic that's going to be hosted here at uh, Arrowhead Stadium. And as you all may know, last year's game, we uh, it drew between Gramlin State and the winning team, Lincoln University, uh, drew over uh, 25,000 people here to the stadium and to Kansas City. Most of those folks were from out of town. And it also uh, provided a significant economic boost to our local Kansas City economy. And we cannot forget uh, the number of businesses that also benefited from uh, this game uh, from the businesses that also help sell tickets, m, &M Bakery uh, on 31st and Truce, Nisi Restaurant, both on Truce and uh, 63rd Street, Danny's Big Easy on 18th Street, uh, Luffy's Fried, Fried Fish on Main and also on Raytown Road, uh, Peachtree Restaurant on Eastwood Traffic Way and also the new one down on East 12th Street as well. Uh, many of those establishments and the ones I just mentioned are places where people can currently right now go and purchase their tickets uh, for this game, but then also folks can visit the website, the Missouri Classic, and also purchase tickets. Uh, folks from across this region uh, will be here in, in Kansas City uh, and will enjoy this wonderful game. So I'm looking forward to this year's game. Uh, the city provided over $75,000 to make sure that this game happens uh, as part of our city budget and part of uh, entertainment uh, dollars as well for uh, such a wonderful game. Uh, many of you all may remember the um, Southwest Airlines State Fair Classic, which has been held in Dallas uh, every year featuring uh, Gremlin and Paraview a and &E, a -N -M. Uh, and I strongly believe that uh, here in Kansas City, we have the potential to be even bigger and better uh, every year uh, as we host this. And so as we get ready for the second year, I'm certainly looking forward to, to a wonderful game, uh, looking forward to whatever team wins. Because uh, whatever team wins helps us uh, bring back this and look forward to working with Mr. Al Wash, um, who <laughs> LU's going to win no matter what. I'm looking forward to whatever team wins. Uh, that, that helps us and helps, helps everybody. And so, uh, Mr. Wash, look forward to working with you and your company and the Chiefs organization uh, to make this happen again uh, for many years to come. At this time, I'll introduce my colleague uh, from the 6th District, uh, Councilman Sharp, who's uh, been extremely instrumental in uh, helping uh, and been supportive uh, on the council uh, as we had to push through a number of initiatives to help make this happen from a city level. And so without further ado, Councilman John Sharp.
Well, thank you, Jermaine. It's great to be here today and great to see uh, the second uh, anniversary of the Missouri Classic. Uh, Jermaine has been a great champion of this, and it's certainly been a pleasure to work with him and our other city officials like Oscar McGaskey, who uh, really uh, saw the value in this. And we all think this game is just going to continue to grow and grow. Uh, my son uh, lives down in the Dallas area and went to the uh, last State Fair Classic. I think it rained all day, and they, they still had a ton of people there. And it's in the old Cotton Bowl, and that's not a domed stadium. You're, you're out there in the, in the rain, and people still showed up. And we think it has the same kind of potential here, because as more people become aware of it, you're going to have people start making their plans to go to it like a year ahead and it's going to do nothing but continue to grow. And I was at uh, last year's game, and of course it meant a lot to me because I attended classes at Lincoln uh, when I was in the state legislature working on my master's. And uh, it was two things. One, it was a great football game. And I, I think it's fair to say it was probably considered an upset when, when Lincoln won, maybe not to, to Lincoln, but most people thought it was. But great game entertaining all the way, but also it was just a great time. The halftime entertainment was fantastic. I mean, it's just a, a great event. And uh, I, I think it's such a good opportunity for Division II players and NAIA players to, to play in an NFL stadium. My boy uh, uh, went to Clark Atlanta, uh, historically black college. He's biracial and really wanted to go there. And, and you know, for, for the kids he knew to get to play in a stadium like that, that's a big deal. And, and that's going to help these schools recruit. It, it's going to help Lincoln recruit every year. It's going to help Langston. It's going to help all the participants because you can market that when, when you're talking to, to young men about where they want to go to college. And, and uh, so I, I think it's a great thing for them. And we have a tremendous number of students here in Kansas City that go to historically black colleges and universities. I don't think a lot of people realize how many do, but a lot do. Not only did my son, but a lot of his uh, fellow classmates did as well. So it's just a win-win thing for everybody, and uh, I'm, I'm so pleased to, to be here and working with Jermaine and other city officials and the chiefs on this. Chiefs have been great to work with. Al Wash is a great promoter. He knows what he's doing, and I, I agree with Jermaine. I think this is going to be, become as big as the State Fair Classic, and I'd like to just thank all the people who've worked on it to promote it, uh, the alumni associations certainly, uh, but uh, also I, I'd like to uh, recognize Chris. Crystal Watson from the Kansas Black Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Crystal, why don't you wave so people know who you are? Because she did a great job on selling tickets, too. So uh, uh, thank you very much for letting me be a part of this and uh, look forward to another great game this year. Thank you. So it's, uh, it's a great honor to be able to introduce the next gentleman. Um, he is here today as the athletic director of Langston University. Um, he's also here today in a building that uh, his name is actually forever on the wall. He's a member of the Chiefs Hall of Fame, inducted in 1978. He's also a little bit famous for a play in Super Bowl IV called 65 Toss Power Trap, uh, which he calls a sucker play. Um, but uh, the Chiefs fooled the Vikings, and the athletic director for Langston University, Mike Garrett, scored on that play. So. It is my pleasure to introduce Mike Garrett. It is, it is great to be in Kansas City. I have fond memories here. It's also great to be in Arrowhead Stadium because uh, I was here the other night and touched a lot of teammates and, and felt the energy of an NFL game. And... Um, it is great to be around football because as I saw that game and, and saw the ambience of uh, Arrowhead Stadium, I kept thinking, Langston's going to be here in a few days. Well, give you a little history. Langston, we have won this, the conference title, Central State Football Conference, last two, uh, last three years. And um, no different than when I was at USC, the same mission is at Langston. It's to win national championships and dominate. And uh, we, I take that seriously. 
And I know um, Lincoln University takes that seriously because that's the only way you can grow. That's the only way you compete. That's the way the society is. And so we feel very confident that we can play with anyone. And as we win conference titles, the ultimate goal is to win a national championship in the NAIA and, um, and whoever else we play. But the person who has, I can talk all day, but the person who has to lead us is a fine football coach. He's been with us, this is his second year. And uh, as we march on, he has to be the leader. Let me introduce you to, to uh, Dwan Sanders, head coach Dwan Sanders. It's there. It's there. Thank you. Thank you for having us this evening. Um, I wouldn't be on point without telling you that our fine dear president, Dr. Kent Smith, uh, fine gentleman, we are here with his vision and culture that we're about football, academics. Those are the things that he would want us to say this, this day in front of you. Uh, we're excited to be here. This is our first time. Um, we have a team that we feel that are that have prepared well. Um, the, co the kids are focused. The coaches are focused. The Langston family, the community, is behind this team. We are currently ranked 23rd in the country in the preseason polls. One polls had us 18th. We went six and four last year. We swept our conference. Um, we didn't make the playoffs. We played some 4-1 AA schools, which is three divisions above us. Nickel State University, Northern Colorado University, Northwestern State University, and um, Incarnate Word. Three Southland Conference schools and one Big Sky school. We have not yet lost on our level. We look forward to delivering Mike Garrett his promise to our fine president, a national championship, and it will start on September the 6th. He expects everything, uh, anything shorter than, than, than first place is self-defeating for Mike Garrett. So we know we have a, a serious goal ahead of ourselves, but we are looking forward for that challenge. And um, I can't say enough about our kids. It's about the children, it's about the kids fine young men, men of high character at Langston University. We're about producing men as well as student athletes. Um, I can't say enough of our kids. Mark Wright, our quarterback out of New Orleans, Louisiana, he's a sophomore. He's going to be leading the attack on September the 6th, and I did say attack. Uh, <laughs> we're excited about him and a few other kids. Chase Green, our All-American uh, outside backer, he's also getting a look, maybe get a draft grade this year. We have a kid that has an opportunity uh, to do some really great things and, and put the eye on Langston University and its community. Uh, the reason why I say that, because we're one big family, and we call it the Lou. We're one big family there, and uh, we're going to do everything that it takes to be successful on Saturday, September the 6th. Um, I had an opportunity to meet Coach Mike Jones, a fine gentleman, come from a fine institution. We look forward to the battle, Coach. But I, I know that we're going to be in one because you're a well-prepared gentleman. We know that your team is focused, and uh, you guys did win last year. I repeat, last year. <laughs> okay. Old stars don't shine, only new ones do. All right, so we will be there. <laughs> yeah, we had a good little debate this morning. You're right about that. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to take up too much time, but I could sit here and talk about our fine institution for days at an end. Um, dear Langston, and we say that passionately, and I'm happy to be there. I'm happy to have the opportunity to be the, the spokesperson for this fine institution. And um, look forward to seeing everyone out there on September the 6th. And you will get your money's worth and some. And there will be a victory there. And we will hold the, the helmet up high. Thank you. 
for your time. Thank you, Coach. Uh, next, I get the opportunity to welcome to Arrowhead the president of Lincoln University, Dr. Kevin D. Rome. Um, I'm going to introduce him as the president of the reigning Missouri Classic Champions. So. Thank you. Good morning. Well, we are extremely excited to be here, and I want to start by thanking Al Wash for bringing this together because we really appreciate it. We were excited last year, and we're even more excited this year. To the Chiefs in Arrowhead Stadium, thank you for rolling out the welcome wagon last year, and we look forward to it this year. To our LU Casey Alumni Association, LU in the house, we thank you because you know, we turned it out last year, and we will do it again this year. Uh, to the Lincoln staff uh, who have worked diligently to make this happen, we know that we're going to be represented well. And to Langston, you know, I don't know a whole lot about rankings and records and all that other stuff I had to listen to, but I do know we're coming here to win. We're not coming here just to play football. We're coming here to win. And my good, dear friend, President Kent Smith, who we've been talking a lot of trash back and forth through Texan, and he really thinks they're going to win. But we have something in store for Langston. We have a well-coached team. We have great coaches. We have great student ath athletes who are going to be more than prepared, and they're coming here to win. You know, this is our home state, and we're going to protect our turf, and we have great support in Kansas City. And we want to thank the city and the council because you made it happen. And all the support that we've received in the Kansas City area, we have a significant number of students who come from this area. And we know they're going to be there and their families are going to be there and their friends are going to be there. We're going to paint Arrow Stadium blue and white on September the 6th. We'll let a little orange in there, but we're going to paint it blue and white. And at the end of the day, Regardless of how it turns out, we know that Lincoln will show itself to be an outstanding institution, an outstanding team, outstanding alumni, and we're looking for many, many more years to come of participating in this classic. So thank you so much. I'm going to follow that up with the head coach of the reigning Missouri Classic Champions, Coach Jones. Thank you very much. Uh, I also want to recognize Ms. Betty Kemner, our athletic director, uh, Willie Jude, and everyone from Lincoln University. Thank you for coming out. Um, this morning, you know, I had a great opportunity to coach, talk to Coach Saunders, and I think you know, we relate to a lot of different things. Um, I had breakfast this morning. I actually got some grits. And uh, he was looking at the grits, and he was like, oh, this, this, I can't eat these kind of grits, and I'm from Louisiana. So what I have to say about that is when you come to Kansas City, we're going to get you some Gates barbecue before, you know, you know how you fatten a pig before you, that's what we're going to do, okay? <laughs> so, but, um, you know, we're excited about playing the Missouri Classic. It's a great opportunity, like Coach Sonda said, for our young men to play in the NFL arena. A lot of times kids don't get this opportunity at the high school level or the collegiate level. So this is an opportunity for them to play in a stadium of, of, of guys and men that they watch on Sundays that they, you know, try and be and become. And um, for coaches, it's a great opportunity because it, it gives us a chance to stand on the sidelines to see what it's like to be an NFL coach. You know, because just like the kids, we're excited to be on the sidelines in, the, in, the, in Arrowhead Stadium as well. You know, playing here, you know, I grew up less than three miles from here. You know, and, and had the opportunity to play here in high school, play here uh, when I was in the NFL. Wasn't quite successful with the teams I played with here, but, you know, had the opportunity to play here. And then now as a collegiate coach, I mean, I have another opportunity to participate at Arrowhead. You, at Arrowhead. And it's just great. Like I said, you can't speak enough about the, the people in the Chiefs uh, organization. You know, they're first class. They do a great job of helping us and organize different things. You know, I'm, I'm a little biased because their head coach was my offensive line coach in, in college, Coach Reed. And so, you know, I wasn't a big Chiefs fan because I played for 
the dark side for so long. But when Coach Reed came here, you couldn't help but be a fan of the Chiefs. So, you know, hopefully this year Chiefs will do something great as they did last year and take a step further. As far as Lincoln University, you know, we're excited about playing in the game. We got a lot of young men that, that we had to replace last year, but the guys we brought in, they're super excited about playing this year. You know, we talk about Lincoln University getting back to what it was. The last time we had a winning season was 1972, which happened to be the last time we won a conference championship. So we're looking forward to being successful this year, turning the program around this year. You know, we had great players and Morris Henderson, who was a, a small college All-American last year. We had a preseason All-American in J.J. Johnson, who, you know, he started every game since he's been there. You know, but all those kids, like I said, Jacob Morris, who broke all the, uh, uh, all the quarterback records. You know, all these kids are Missouri kids. And when I first got here, I said we need to recruit kids from the state of Missouri. We had 12 kids from the entire state when I first got, on the, uh, got here. We have about 50 kids now. And it's helping because kids now can – now parents from Kansas City, St. Louis, mid-Missouri can come see their kids play. Yes, we recruit nationally, and we got kids from all over them, you know, kids from New Orleans, you know, kids from California. But having the, the base of kids from Missouri helps us with our recruiting, helps us with kids coming – their parents coming to see us play. So, you know, like I said, we're excited about playing this game. You know, it's a great opportunity, uh, a rivalry that actually should have been reestablished a while back ago, but now it's, it's reestablished. We got a two-year contract, I believe. So, you know, we got, he got lucky. We got the neutral site this year, and we got to go to their backyard next year. So, you know, we'll, but we consider it here at our home field. So, this is a home field game for us, and our, our mission is to be undefeated at home. So, you already know what we think about what we're going to do this year. So, we're excited. We want to win. You know, our guys are doing a great job in the classroom as well. You know, we've graduated over 27 guys in the last two years, and that's more than we've graduated in over 10 years. So these kids are going to class, getting their degrees, and that's the most important thing. The football games, you know, Coach Sanders and I are having fun with it, you know, talking and all that, that's great. But the end result is making sure these young men walk away with their, with their being, getting their degree and being successful in life. You know, and that's what, it's, that's what it's all about. If they get an opportunity to play in the NFL or, or play at a higher level, that's great. But getting that degree is the most important thing. So we're excited about that, and we look forward to playing against Langston on September 6th. So a few things. Um, number one, thank you for being here today. Uh, number two, we'll see you on September 6th at 3 p.m. Number three, September 7th at 12 noon. Tennessee Titans and Kansas City Chiefs will be playing. So I want to specifically thank our stadium operations crew for getting us through a weekend like that with back-to-back -back games. We've got the best guys in the business, and they make Arrowhead look the way it looks and represent us well. Al Walsh and the Kansas City Chiefs would like to host you all in a lunch, which is right out this door and to the right. And then for the media members, the folks who are up here speaking will all be available for one-on-ones. Thank you for being here today.